went to paddle and it just like just bit me i looked at it like three deep gash i was like sick man well over the past five days we have seen shark tails like this in florida monday 18 year old reed zipper was bitten on the hand while surfing out new smyrna beach and about 100 miles north of there video shows professional surfer Frank O'Rourke getting knocked off his board. That's when a shark latched onto his arm near the pier in Jacksonville Beach. And we love our beaches here in Florida, and there have been plenty of those shark sightings all over the U.S. throughout the summer. While the odds of a shark bite are low, we want to remind you of that. It is good to know basic techniques of bleeding control because accidents happen too. Yes, yeah, so join us now to tell us about Stop the Bleed Education. Dr. Alexander Evans, a trauma doctor at Central Florida Regional Hospital. Doctor, thank you for being here this morning. Absolutely. So some great information. First of all, for folks who don't know, tell us what is Stop the Bleed? Stop the Bleed is a campaign that's national. American College of Surgeons, uh, supported by the, by the U.S. government, to basically help people before the first responders get there, you civilians, stop the bleeding. And obviously it started from all the, whether it be shootings or all the different traumatic things that have been happening across our country. So the first question is, is when should you even think about tourniquet? Well, I mean, if there's bleeding, you should always think about it. But the first thing, as I was saying before, is 911, call for help. That's the first thing. And then, if there is an extremity or so, you know, someone's arm or leg that's bleeding, yes, you should absolutely start thinking about tourniquet, whether you use uh, the traditional tourniquets that are provided or you know, belt straps, you know, pieces of clothing tied around. The goal is to stop bl blood from leaving because once blood leaves the body, the chance of dying goes up. Now, so for people who don't really understand what a tourniquet is, you brought uh, an example of one. Is this like a first aid kit type of tourniquet? Yeah, so you can get these now. Some of, some of them are right beside uh, the tourniquet. Tourniquets are right beside the, the uh, first aid kits nowadays mm -hmm. in some of these places, but literally it goes around the arm, extremity, you tighten it up, and then you turn this, and it literally stops the blood from leaving. It basically clamps down on the arm, basically. So this should not be the first thing you think of, though, right, when you see somebody in a situation. Are there steps you should take before you bust out the tourniquet? Well, I mean... I know you mentioned call 911. Yes, call 911. Make sure that the, the area is safe, obviously, if it's you know shark bite, you want to remove the patient from the water. You know, make sure they're breathing, etc. But yes, I mean, if there is a place where someone is actively bleeding, and you put down, let's say, you put gauze or something on it, and it's bleeding through, the next step should be to move towards something that will help to stop the bleed. So if pressure isn't working, then that's when absolutely. you need to go to this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, Trooper Steve, I remember during our hurricane special mm -hmm. talked about having your first aid kit for hurricane season. A yes. tourniquet is always a great, I mean, a great idea. Would you say having a tourniquet where you're, where you're at at all times is a good thing, whether it's your beach bag or maybe your car? Unfortunately, nowadays in our society, yes, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. actually where we're moving towards, mm -hmm. suggesting. That's why it's now going into airports. You can find it at, you know, several places in Walmart or the malls are starting to have them. It's important, again, how we're living in our society. Uh, every few days, unfortunately, we're hearing another gunshots, etc. If someone's bleeding, you know, it's hard to stop bleeding from just this pr pressure. Can you explain how fast blood loss can play into whether or not someone is able to recover? Well, I mean, if, it depends on the size and what artery you hit or vein, et cetera, but someone can bleed out quite quickly. I mean, six minutes, 10 minutes. Six you know, minutes? Ten, you know, after 10 minutes, you've lost a, if it's a large mm -hmm. artery or a large vessel. If it's something small, then no, you're gonna be fine. But again, you, you as the layman, the lay person doesn't know that. So mm -hmm. apply the tourniquet, 911, they'll get there in, in time and they can assess it whether or not it's needed. Let them do all the work. Let the EMS providers do all the work. Is there a way that you can do this wrong and cause more damage than help? The only way to do it wrong, I would say when someone is active bleeding, if you, if you apply it and they're still bleeding. Okay. If you apply it and you stop bleeding, you haven't done it wrong. As I said, the EMS providers and the hospital mm -hmm. themselves, we can figure out what needs to happen next. Now you have a, an extended amount of time before any permanent damage is done. 
Now, what about, you know, doctor, if you want to, you know, be MacGyver, you don't have a tourniquet, what are some other items that you can kind of, you know, make, look around and, and make one? Again, better? anything that you have uh, can be used, whether it be pieces of articles of clothing ripped uh, down, uh, belts, um, seat belts, you know, straps from, from uh, you know, you have the umbrellas, etc. Anything that's there, suitcases, wherever you are, um, if you're on the beach, it's going to be, you know, something close to go to your car and get, get the seat belt and cut it out and bring it if you don't have a belt, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And but, should, should someone invest maybe in a Stop the Bleed class if they maybe want to learn how to do it appropriately and, and maybe do something like this one day, unfortunately? That is always a suggestion. Mm -hmm. You know, you locally, the EMS uh, teams and the hospitals, uh, along with the police the stations, they all sponsor public awareness Stop the Bleed uh, campaigns. All right. Thank you so much for being here oh, this morning. We no appreciate worries. it. Thank you.